Hello everybody, and welcome to another review, except today we're not doing it on a movie, we're doing it on a cloud gaming service. Now, I know it's a bit weird for me to do a review elsewise, but the people, the team at Boostroid uh, were kind enough to give me some playtime on their cloud gaming service. And I'm here to share my experience with you, and that's basically what this review is. Now, Boosteroid is, as I stated, a cloud gaming service where you have a select, select curated amount of games, as I, if I can speak English, at your disposal to play under a couple of restrictions. Uh, the first primary restriction is that you own the game on one of a couple major game platforms. Steam, Epic, Origins, Rockstar, I believe, and that might be the primary ones. But in what's really cool about this is it connects, well, they stream to a, they, the stream goes to a virtual computer where you log in to said official distribution platform whether that be steam epic and after you log in as long as you own the game you get to play it it's very simple you do not get access to any games through cloud gaming that you do not own prior and that's one of the things that you need to know is you do not get uh, access to anything that you do not own already or you can't play if you you need to buy it okay so that's that's the big point there as well as i'm sure one thing you might be like iffy about when you hear of a cloud streaming service is that you're always you're probably worried if your internet's good enough and to be honest with you i was as well i more recently, I had spent a very extended period of time outside of my uh, actual house due to certain reasons that I don't want to disclose at this moment. And the internet where I was at was <laughs> very shoddy, and it wasn't really the best. And I hadn't been home for a while, and I was worried, you know, kind of got used to that other internet, and on top of that... I was also worried that my internet wasn't as good as I thought it was. Well, the good news is that there is a speed test for Boosteroid, and I will leave the link down below so that you can do your own network test to see if Boosteroid is uh, possibly a good fit as well. You do need to have an account, but I mean, that's free to make. You don't, you're not required to pay any money to have an account. So, um, and I will try to get some gameplay of this too, but one thing that made it really cool when I was testing it is you can, you can play it on your phone, uh, on a Chromebook, uh, basically as far as I'm aware, any device that allows you to go on a web browser, you can probably play Boosteroid on there. Because all you have to do is go to the Boosteroid website, log in, and then you're able to play. And I didn't even realize, but you, you can connect a um, an Xbox controller to your phone if it's iOS, which is what I did. And that was kind of cool. That was pretty neat. So that was uh, that was it was fun playing Spider-Man briefly on on my phone. That was that was pretty neat. So, it is, there, there aren't every single game available. Like, does that make sense? Like, you, you're not gonna, there's no guarantee that you'll have the game that you want. But, like, as I said, I know Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales are on there. Um, there are some big titles on there. But, there's not necessarily every single title on Steam. There's not necessarily every single title on Epic. You know, you, you, they also do have uh, free-to-play games on there. 
And what that means is after you sign up, if you decide you want to, any game that's free to play on Epic or Steam, so Overwatch, uh, video of Overwatch, uh, Hearthstone, can be played. Fortnite, Fall Guys, uh, and they have the Steam Fall Guy one as well. I remember seeing that. So if you are if you owned it on Steam or you own it on Steam, you can do that version too. So I find that really cool. Um, I find that you know that that little detail there of having the Steam version as well is a nice little touch because the Steam version is even though it's constantly updated, people can't buy that anymore. So that's only the version that um, select people have who have already own the game so I liked that that's available though because personally I play it through Steam primarily um, so that's nice now um, as you know since I do videos here and sometimes I'm sure if you guys have been following my channel you have found out that I've mentioned having problems before with some games running on my computer and I haven't gone too in depth because that's not what you guys are here to see. So I don't I don't normally divulge a lot of information involving that in particular. But when it comes to um, streaming and recording games, if if um, which I think Boostroid will would be a good. Uh, alternative way for me to do this it it worked surprisingly well um and a good test if you own it uh dead by daylight is a really good test to see if boost droid would be a good fit if you wanted to try it and see because that game's uh once you test your internet connection and it's like yeah yours is good it'll work uh dead by daylight is, and this is the game I tested, and I do have some footage saved of this. I want to play Spider-Man Miles Morales um, and release like after this video the same day for everybody. So um, you can see uh, it in action. I'm going to keep this separated though just because I want um, I want to focus a video on Boostroid in my personal opinion. But it's very interesting because honestly, if if I were to show you footage of me playing Dead by Daylight, if I did not tell you it was on a cloud streaming service, I don't think you would know. And that's saying a lot, especially when that game heavily relies on your you not having lag. Because of the skill checks in Dead by Daylight, you have to have internet, like you have to have decent internet, and you can't really have. A bad connection because it requires you to be pinpoint accurate when you're doing those skill checks it's like a quick time event in a telltale game and to be honest with you uh, I didn't have any lag the only the only game I had a little problem with was overwatch 2 uh, it, it had like a little visual glitch but it didn't like it wasn't anything very big and it didn't impact my enjoying the gameplay at all so like I wouldn't even say that was a problem but it was an overwhelmingly positive experience that I had and I do want to point out that I, I I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are afraid of using cloud streaming services and if not maybe it's just me but I definitely do feel like cloud streaming services are a bit it's a bit scary, especially for a subscription service, which is, of course, why they're allowing you to test, um, why, why Boostroid is allowing you to test your internet connection and always having an opportune way for you to be able to do that. Um, so just remember, you don't ever have to buy it before testing. So, so yeah, other than the free-to-play games, which which you can play as soon as you have it. So there's already a lot of games that you may have never heard of, but are available. Other than that, there are games marked as, uh, in a different way to mention it than I mentioned it earlier, 
payment required, meaning you have to own it on one of those platforms. And basically to give you an idea of how it works is you would go into Boost Droid, start it up, and if you already own it on Steam, you click it, it would launch it, uh, linking like, um, kind of like remoting you into a virtual machine, there you go, something like that. And you have to log into your account, and then once you do that, uh, if you ever use Steam, you know how, uh, it'll put, you have to go to your library, so it'd be like you're playing on PC. And you have to choose your game. But what I do is I just click the little triangle in the top left area-ish, and it'll just put up all the games that are installed, and typically the top one will be the game that you want to play. Sometimes it shows other ones um, that are probably installed on that virtual computer. Um, again, I've tested trying to play games I do not own, and it won't appear. That or it'll say purchase. So, like, it'll start up to the point before you can even start the game, but it works just like Steam, because it's going through Steam. If you don't own it, it won't let you play it. So, just keep that in mind. And down below, again, for testing the internet quality, I will have a link, just so you're aware. There will be a link down below. I may have put something on screen earlier. Uh, click on that link, make an account, test your internet connection if you're interested at all. That is completely free, no payment required. Um, and if you're having any issues with freezing, you know, or troubles with like latency, they have some tips and tricks. Links will, will also be down below for you as well. Um, so that you can go ahead and look at that if you're having any trouble, if you decide to go that far. So, um, other than that, again, Hopefully I have some footage on screen. It's really cool to play on your phone. I know that Xbox does have a similar cloud streaming service. I don't know exactly what that entails. I haven't tried it a whole lot. But... Yeah. To wrap up my thoughts here, I really like Boosteroid. And I, I understand that at, at some point there's going to be people out there that always think that this is... This is fake. Or, you know, and to be honest with you, like, hey, you got it for free, you didn't have to pay, it's a different story, this, that, and the other thing, and I respect that. But when I say, and honestly, an idea like this would help me out greatly for recording, it would. Because computers uh, and upgrading computers are not cheap. My computer is pretty good. Like, it's not, it's not fantastic, it's not groundbreaking it's not you know it's not like this is like the biggest and best thing in the entire world for me because it, it really isn't but overall it's pretty good and it, it was a fun experience to play and you know you can play games with friends too of course you need to have good interaction wherever you go but you can play games with friends. It doesn't doesn't mean it's just single player games. Again, Dead by Daylight, Fortnite, Overwatch, um, and just thinking of the possibilities with that. You know, you uh, are going on vacation, but you're not going to have a console or computer with you, and you have those games, even the free to play ones. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can do it monthly. So, it doesn't even mean you have to pay for more than that so just keep that in mind um and i hope you guys will check it out uh stay tuned as well for my actual gameplay portion of it uh hopefully i'll be releasing that today it depends again it depends i'm hoping to have both this and that edited before i post it so that i can post those both on the same day in case people don't want to watch the movie review uh, not movie review, the, the cloud streaming service for you. So in fl full disclosure, I, I did receive playtime in Boosteroid for free from the Boosteroid team, uh, whoever I was in contact with. So thank you so much for that, Boosteroid. It's basically like a sponsor. They, they, they're giving me paid time to test it out. Um, but And they, they were kind of hands-off. They just told me, hey, here it is. 
this is how you get in, go for it. And I'm just telling you that because I, I know that people are a little bit hesitant sometimes on these kind of things. So, anyways, check it out. There is a PC app and an app for Android. No app for iOS. You have to use uh, Chrome or Safari on iOS, but it will work. And uh, if you have a, some one of the newer Xbox controllers, you can connect wirelessly um, to your phone and you can use that con uh, an Xbox controller. So I don't know about a PlayStation controller, but I know for Xbox for sure. So anyway, thank you so much. See ya.